everyone, my name is Oscar and I'm here with PS Arts and today we have a really fun project based on a book called Singer and the Paint. If you don't have the book, we have a wonderful reading of the book by an artist named Lake Bell. Um, so you can read along, watch the video, and then after the video, come back to this project. The book is written by Mira Shapur and it's about uh, two people who are starting a painting project and end up being helped by their dog, Singer. And the book is actually illustrated by Fredun Shapur, who is Mira Shapur's father. Um, and he's the artist that is going to inspire the project that we're going to do today. So Fredun Shapur is an artist who was born in South Africa. And he is a designer of many things. He designed toys, puzzles, books, and album covers, amongst uh, many other things. But today we're going to be looking at his play sax, which is a toy that he designed for children and it's essentially a giant paper bag designed after different animals like owls, foxes, monkeys um, and you can put the play sack over you and use it as a costume. Today we're going to be creating our own. For today's project you're going to need um, some kind of paper bag. So I have this uh, big one that I've gotten from Trader Joe's. Um, if you don't have a paper bag this big you might have you know a smaller uh, lunch bag and this will work well um, you can put it you know sort of right over your hand and you have your own little puppet um, this one is more so meant um, so that we can make a kind of mask that we can put you know over our heads you're also going to need some paint um, I have some acrylic paint here if you have temper paint that works well if you don't have any paint at all you can still do the project um, either just by drawing what we're going to be drawing or if you have uh, some construction paper. You can cut out the shapes that we're going to be drawing instead of just drawing them straight onto the to the bag. And you can use the different colors of construction paper as your kind of paint. So all the different shapes that you're going to use for your animal will be cut out of construction paper and you're going to glue them and collage them onto your paper bag. So for my first step, I have my paper bag. Um, and because it's brown and I'm going to be painting on it, I've gone ahead and I've uh, laid down a, a thin layer of white paint over um, just to cover up some of the brown so that when I paint, it'll be a little easier for my bag to really show the true color of the paint. If you don't have white paint um, or if you want to skip this step, you can. It just It's just going to mean that you know, you're going to need a couple more layers of paint if you want a sort of richer color for whatever color you're using um, because your background is going to be brown. If you use a lot of paint, it's gonna take longer to dry. So, you know, just be careful with that. You really only need maybe uh, two coats of some white paint to go on top. I'm gonna to be using a marker while I draw for this project just so that it shows up better on camera. But you might wanna go ahead and use uh, something erasable like a pencil so that, you know, if you make a mistake or you don't like whatever shape that you drew, you can just erase it and try again until you get what you, what you want. For our first step, our first step is actually kind of funny. Um, what you're going to do is, if you have a, a paper bag like this, when you look at some of Fred and Shapur's play sacks, you'll see that all of them have this kind of interesting shape in the middle, um, and that's the area that's cut out of the paper bag so that you can breathe. Um, and we're gonna make, we're gonna mark that area for ourselves. So you're gonna open up your bag, put it over your head, and then look for the tip of your nose and you're gonna draw a dot there. If you can, you can also sort of mark kind of the areas where you feel like your eyes are. So I think my eyes are somewhere in this area here. So I got something like this. Um, my nose is here and my two eyes are somewhere in this area right here so um, we we have these three dots here or these three circles and i'm going to draw sort of a letter v to connect them all and that's going to give me an idea of where i'm going to be cutting um, my shape out so you know you can give yourself sort of enough space so it's actually kind of like a heart So I have something like this, um, and this is, so like you see, I, I didn't make my lines really close to the dot. I really want to give it enough space to sort of breathe, but that's going to be, we're going to cut this out later. 
Um, we're going to cut this out later and but now we know sort of the area that we're going to cut out so anything that we add to our paper bag um, we know that we're not going to add it in here because all of this is going to be cut out so when we're adding eyes and noses and things like that we're going to add it around this shape so i'm a big fan of the tiger play sack that um, Fred Dun Shapur made so that's the drawing that I'm gonna be making but um, you know so you can try it out with me you can do the tiger one first and then if you have an animal that you really like that you really like to make you can either try that on your own or you can follow along with me make one with a tiger and then if you want to make another one later you can have the whole set with all the different animals um, so the cool thing about Fredun Shapur is that when you look at his artwork, they're all geometric shapes. So they're all squares, circles, triangles, very simple geometric shapes. And we're going to be doing the same thing. So first thing is we're going to be adding the eyes. At this very tip here, I'm going to add a circle to make one eye. And I'm going to be doing the same on this side. You can add the pupils inside. So one curved line going this way, one curved line going that way. So you have something like that. And we're gonna do the same on this side. So to add the nose, it's really just a sort of an upside down triangle, but instead of making the corners sharp, we're going to curve them. At the top of the triangle, right, you have a straight line like this. It's a straight line like that. And then to draw the other sides of the triangle, instead of just going down in a sharp line, we're going to curve like that and then we're going to follow that down Then we're going to do the same to the other side curve and meet at the bottom now before you connect these two lines you can draw a curve going like that so to draw the mouth we have to draw a line going down from here look at where you put the eyes and then extend the mouth as far um, so that they're like right under the eyes so you can just imagine sort of a line going down from the eyes and that's where your mouth is going to end now what we want to do is sort of draw the shape of the head I like to start sort of from where I would put the ears so I imagine those to be close to the eyes so sort of at the bottom area of so I have my eye here follow the line here and I'm just gonna make a mark right there on the edge and I'm gonna do the same with this eye follow it to the to the side and make a mark right there this is gonna give me an idea of where to start we just want to draw a straight line like this I just drew a line like that and this, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side a line like that we're going to draw sort of the cheek area of the line so it's going to curve right it's kind of like this this kind of circle circle I'm going to draw a shape like this and I'm going to draw another shape on the other side so I'm going to stop at the same area where my mouth ends. so I extended my mouth all the way here I'm going to go up and end it there. So you see my lines are a little short still. I need to extend them. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little dot there and put a little dot here. And that's going to give me an idea of how far to extend my line. So draw here, draw there. See, so now we have something like this, right? To draw the area around the mouth, I'm just going to go down. So I have a line going down. And then I have a curved line. 
So we're gonna leave a space between the top of the bag and the head. We'll draw a line sort of in this area. So there I made a line. I was using sort of the edges of the eyes as a guideline. So you can do the same thing. So now you have pretty much your general shape for your, for your cat. All that's really left now is to draw the stripes and the stripes can really be um, any way that you want. However, I do like to make some around the eyes. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're gonna be painting all of this in later, but I like to make sort of these shapes around the eyes and then um, you know, make sure you can draw your stripes wherever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and draw mine. You can look at um, you can look at Fredun Shapur's uh, tiger for some inspiration if you're having trouble seeing you know where you should put the stripes. So here I have my fully drawn tiger with um, some lines in there. It looks a little confusing now because we haven't painted it yet, but give yourself a, uh, a chance uh, to paint it first, fill it in, and then you'll see how your tiger will come to life. So I'm actually going to leave the black for last, um, and I'm going to paint in the orange part of the face first. So you see here, I painted in my tiger. Now I'm gonna just be using my green to paint in some of the other areas, the eyes, um, and then I'm just gonna go in with my black to finish it off. So after you finish painting, uh, you know, give your work some time to dry um, and then you're ready to cut out this middle area. So the way we're going to do that is you're going to uh, put your hand inside of the bag. You're going to pinch an area here so that you have, you know, in between your fingers. So you have it in between your fingers like this. And then you're gonna take a pair of scissors. You know, if you don't, uh, you can uh, ask an adult to do this um, so that you don't get cut by your scissors. But you know, then you're just gonna make a cut like that, where you pinched it, and then that'll give you a hole that you can use to sort of cut around this area. So once you finish, you're gonna have something like this. Um, <laughs> it looks pretty funny, uh, but you see here, I have enough space to breathe. I have enough space to see, um, and I still have all the features of my animal, the eyes, the ears, the nose. And again, if you want to try out and do some of the other animals, go ahead and try it. Um, it, it like, um, just like this one, it's a lot of geometric shapes, uh, a lot of simple shapes. So go ahead and give that a shot. Um, and when you do make them, we want to see your work. We want you to share your work with us. So, um, you know, using the hashtag PSArts2Go and on our social media sites, all of that information is going to be at the end of the video. Just make sure to ask an adult for permission before you do so. So I want to thank you for joining me. And I want to remind you that as a PS artist, you have the freedom to imagine and the power to create. See you next time.